For this ride, I traveled to Ely, Nevada. The four hour drive from Las Vegas was easy and peaceful. If you were thinking about making a trip to Ely, be sure to see the video description for things I wish I knew before I went to Ely. The reason I chose Ely was because the 8,000 foot elevation made it about 35 degrees cooler than in Las Vegas. This particular ride takes place at Cave Lake State Park, which is just off the Great Basin Highway about 14 minutes south of Ely. The park's 4,560 acres are built around the Cave Lake Reservoir, originally built in 1939. This high elevation hideout has spectacular mountain views, jagged rock formations, and alpine lakes. Unfortunately, during this trip, Cave Lake had been drained to restore the Cave Creek Dam. There are 13 miles of single track trails and several miles of paved and unpaved roads to explore at Cave Lake State Park. The first single track trail that I rode is a two mile, 600 foot elevation gain trail called the Cave Overlook Loop Trail. Maybe it was because it was Friday morning, but during my ride, I never saw another person riding or hiking on any of the trails. I pretty much had the trails all to myself. The trail was pretty steep in many sections with tight turns and switchbacks. As I continued to climb, the views were spectacular. Although you cannot fly a drone in most Nevada state parks without a permit, more than half of the Cave Lake trails travel outside of the park's boundaries. The soil was very damp from a recent rainfall, which made climbing slightly difficult on an electric mountain bike. At the top of the Overlook Trail was a bench where I rested, ate, and enjoyed the view at 8,000 feet. I continued the climb following the trail through the Ponderosa Pines as it turned into the High Roller Trail. The High Roller Trail is two miles long with an additional 400 foot elevation gain to a max elevation of 8,400 feet. At 65 degrees, the weather was perfect for riding and beautiful cloud formations provided stunning contrast in the sky overhead. The beautiful tree-studded scenery against the amazing mountain landscape could be seen in every direction I looked. Even with active visual tracking, GPS location tracking, and a bright red shirt, the drone had a very difficult time trying to follow me through the dense brush on the mountainside. High Roller Trail connects to the four mile long Twisted Pines Trail where the flowy downhill starts to pick up a bit. But there was still a lot more great views to take in. Other than the steep climb and high altitude, there was nothing too difficult about these trails.
The Twisted Pines Trail then leads into the Steptoe Creek Trail, which is 1.6 miles long with about 260 feet of climbing. The Steptoe Creek Trail is the only single track trail in Cave Lake State Park that is a green or easy trail. And now, I'm right back to where I started. If you have questions about this ride, please see the video description or leave me a message in the comments. Thanks for watching.